Hi, my name is Lewis and welcome to another edition of Talking Cancer, My Journey, My Way. Um, today is a special edition uh, where I actually have my acupuncturist um, talking a little bit about what she does and also what she's, the treatment that she's been giving me. Um, but let me start off with today. Today has been a good day. It's been a good morning and um, I feel great. I still do and I owe that a lot to my acupuncturist. Um, for those who've been tuning in, a lot of my issues so far have been with my digestion. And I, don't, I can't, we both of us agree that we don't know if, if acupuncture is an actual cure. But what we do know is that she has given me a lot of relief from the, the pain that I was having in my abdomen. Um, and actually my digestion is working a lot smoother ever since I have been seeing her. So yeah, with that being said, I'd like to introduce you to my acupuncturist, Pin Lu. Thank you. My name is Ping Lu. Um, my office is in Poway. And Lu, Lu is, is uh, he's my uh, patient. He came in in two months ago. When he first came in, he's um, just diet for uh, how many days? You said 20 days? Yes. For 20 days, he has no food, only water. And yeah. when he first came in, he's very fatigued and depression, and he has a lot of pain in the stomach. And I don't know how to treat the, for him. And then I, de I decide um, acupuncture, I adjust his energy first. So I use the uh, just the needles. I didn't use any medic uh, medic uh, meditation. I just use the acupuncture, and I create his um, positive energy first. Yeah, and you feel good. Yeah, I feel after, great. Yeah, after the session, he feels very good because I balance um, the acupuncture. Is non is not um, kill something. We always increase your body the positive energy when the positive energy go through your body and the balance and the, we call qi is the energy go through your body um, everything is go go to the go to um, go to good yeah well like she said i mean when i first came here um i was in a I was in a weird state. I had just, in March, I had just got diagnosed with stage four um, metastasized cancer, which it went from colorectal cancer to now my liver. Um, and I was in a bad, I was in a weird place um, then, uh, just trying to wrap my head around how I got this again. And, and I believe a lot of it had to start with my digestion. So um, I was like, okay, what do I need to do? I need, first of all, I need to figure out how to starve this and kind of just slow it down. So as I did some reading and me being loving more holistic style of, of treatments, I decided to do a fast. I attempted to do a 21 day fast, but I only did a 20 day fast. And with that 20 day fast, um, I became really weak and tired and I lost about 30 pounds. Um, in that and you can see that in my face just you know how much slimmer I am if you knew me um, before um, But when I came to her, I knew that I needed something different I know I needed a change and I knew something had to be adjusted within my uh, Within my digestion and I didn't know what that was but I knew that morning that morning I woke up that I needed some acupuncture and she was the only one that had availability at that time. I was just Googling everybody. Mm -hmm. And by the force of nature, energy brought me to, to Pen Lu. And um, she's been able to get me in balance of somewhat and my, my digestion system has been great. Um, and how she does it is, is amazing to me. Um, and I feel really relaxed, but I think, I think, I don't know you if I'm wrong or not, but when somebody comes into your facility, do they have to, does part of that energy have to, is there a want to want the energy to change? 
Do you have to want it to change or does it just we change? Not change? We not change. We, we just balance. We just do the holistic. We right. let the, um, the energy go through your body. When you have sick, the, that means is the energy is the block in right. somewhere. Right. So they cannot go through. And I just uh, let it all energy go through your body. Now, does, it have, does a person have to want to have that energy change? Not the change, we just adjust. No, but does do they do they are they gonna be able does the person have to want to receive the adjustment mentally here? Yeah, yeah. The when they somebody have the anxiety, depression, that's the energy all on the top. On the top a lot of energy. You feel disease and headache, something. But down the bottom is a weak. Your stomach cold and your feet weak. Right. That's the balance. Not the energy. Not balance in your body. So we use the needles just adjust the whole body. Let the uh, energy go through circulation yes. in your body. Yes. Now I noticed that like as we've been doing some of our treatments, I can't see. Right. So I don't know what I look like with all these needles in my mm -hmm. head. Right. <laughs> but. Um, and all over my body, but sometimes it feels like you put them in different places. Oh, that's the pressure point. The okay. pressure point. We said um, in Ch Chinese the theory, the circulation, not only blood, we also have the qi. The qi, that's the energy. The energy. Energy push the blood, go, go uh, circulation. So it's all about the flow. So, yes, yeah, we work on the energy. We not work on the nerves. Um, vans, we don't work on that. We work on the chi, like, like station. Yeah. The the uh, the pressure point, like right. station. And when the you uh, work on the station and the, let the chi go through fast and push the, to the next station fast. Right. Yeah. So I put a different channel on you. And that's interesting because I mean those channels like water. Or like a river, um, there was no. It was just able to flow. You know that energy was able to just circulate. Yeah, you you feel it's like floating on the water. Mm -hmm. You feel like push, like like yeah. this. This is the energy is really moving in your body. Right. The push, push. Yeah. When it go through, you feel the calm down and yeah. the leg station. Yeah, there's no resistance. Yeah. Of any of the energy, like a rock is in the way or something <laughs> like that. You know what I mean? So, it, and and this is so true. Mm -hmm. This is so true because I, I, the the following day, I swear to you, and my digestion and everything that came after my digestion, <laughs> to put it bluntly, or just be, to be straightforward, it was, I hadn't been that regular in a long time. Mm -hmm. It had been years. And, yeah, you know, when you're the second time we see, I can see your difference. Yeah, and I also had started eating too. Yeah, so yeah, you that was eating. That was huge. Um, and so, I mean, with for me, I, I can't thank her enough because um, mm -hmm. I've been coming here every week now mm -hmm. for the past couple months. And I don't know if, you know, and we both don't know because we're just human and we don't know if this is helping with some of the, I feel in, in my near future that I am going to beat stage four colorectal cancer. That's a personal belief of mine. Mm -hmm. uh, my mind state says so, and I'm doing everything in my power to to go that way um, with anything that I could do holistically, organically, um, and and just prayer and my higher power. Um, at the end of the day, I know that I'm going to beat this. Mm -hmm. um, now, do we say, and more than likely not, because it would probably be a culmination of everything that I end up doing that ends up beating it, but I feel like acupuncture is going to play a huge part of that cure. That's how I feel. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, if you're watching and you're looking at something and you're looking for something to do, you, I feel that you have to be able to be receptive to receive the change in energy flow to 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 get rid of the 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 rocks that are blocking the energy flow you know kind of say you know what I mean so um, 
only and, can feel in person. Yeah, <laughs> you have to you have to feel it and yes. and and trust me, I mean, I I have been to one other acupuncturist and I could definitely say that I felt Pin Lu's energy the minute I walked in. It was like she wanted to take care of me. I think that was very important because the last person that I went to go see was just lay down. Uh huh. You okay? How you feel? Put your hand up. You know, and, and put a couple of needles, and that was about it. It was like nothing. They weren't very receptive of my energy. Mm -hmm. But I felt like you sat down with me, you talked to me, and I felt like you were putting yourself in a place of empathy mm -hmm. to understand my body. Mm -hmm. I yeah. I have I will I have to explain what I'm doing and what I'm diagnosis for you and what I can help you. I have uh, talked to you, uh, the community first. Yes. Yes. Let, let you understand. Yeah, the communication is imperative. Where I didn't feel that with my lack of acupuncture. So me being me saying that is you know. Talk to people. Don't just. Say hey, I need I need an acupuncture or so whatever. Just like your doctors, hey, if you're not if if they're not understanding what you're trying to say, move on to your doctor. You pay these people, you know, and you can move on, you know. And if you find somebody like I found Pin Lu, I would love to stick with her and follow this journey out. Definitely, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yes, um, of course. Mm -hmm. Um, and I've actually recommended some people to her already too. Like, no, you guys need to go her. <laughs> this is the person to go to. Um, but let's go back into some of the the treatments so far. So far, mm -hmm. it's been um, just uh, uh, the acupuncture. Yes, I okay. only use acupuncture. Yes. So what? And I haven't even asked her this question. So this is all fresh right now. What? What are your plans? right now for me as far as you know going into something else or you expanding your treatment um, on me yeah I need to create your positive energy when you're negative you feel something everything is unhappy everything is the negative thinking that's not good for your body the we say the tumor they grow up from the negative energy so when you have the positive energy in your mind, you feel everything good, and they would they would uh, kill the the tumor. Okay. Yes. Okay. Positive energy. I've positive been I've been energy. feeling that like for real. Like, um, especially if you listen to my podcast, my podcasts are have been leaned more towards the positive energy. I mean, I have my moments. I, I do. I think I've had a few episodes, uh, an episode a couple of days back where my energy when I woke up in the morning, it wasn't negative, mm -hmm. but my, my energy was just, it kept on thinking about cancer. And, and I don't know if that's, it's easy to just get rid of, you know, for me. If, when you're diagnosed with something, it's really hard to um, not relate everything to, to cancer, mm -hmm. you know, oh, we go, we, you want to go on, my wife asks me, hey, you want to go on vacation? And mm -hmm. I tell her, hey, when are you talking about? Um, maybe like next year. And I, and I don't know, it's hard for me to plan for next year, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and I'm not trying to live in that space. But at the same time, it's it's hard. It, it, it's always like in the back of my mind somewhere, yeah. you know. But I I live ninety five percent of my day in a positive space, mm -hmm. and I and I thank you for that because I think a lot of my negative energy when I came to see you had had came from the pain that I was feeling yes. in my digestive system, mm -hmm. and and the lack of movement of the energy yes um, in that. Mm -hmm. um, what are your plans for me as I move forward with your treatments? Um, right now, I, I work for your digest, the first. Okay. The digestion, when your digestion good, you can absorb the nutrition, you, you will change your body. You, okay. you might fight cancer by yourself. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how I feel. And I just came from the doctor. Yes. I just came from the doctor yesterday. Oh. Yes. What, um, what did he say? Yes. Well, they um, they looked at my 
my plans. I actually, this was my my second doctor, mm -hmm. where I went to go get a second opinion of the treatment plan mm -hmm. that they had in store for me. Because the first doctor was like, "Hey, radiation immediately, not radiation, but chemotherapy immediately. You know, four months, and kind of go from there." Um, and so I was like, "Okay, well, that's that's it." And then, but that doctor was really negative. Mm. When he talked to me, he told me, um, I said, Doc, I said, what, what, does, what does my life look like living in stage four cancer? He was like, oh, it, it involves uh, chemotherapy mm -hmm. and just making you comfortable until it's time for you. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was like, that was harsh. You know what I mean? Like, that's really like, wow, mm -hmm. you're going to make me comfortable. You know, and, and that's that's what bothered me a lot. That's what kind of drove me to go to um, UCSD to get a second op opinion on my treatment process. And they gave me a lot of hope yesterday um, in regards, but they want to put me on chemo and like two other medicines as well. A total of like five uh, treatments and it's over like a four to six months oh. of treatment. Um, I haven't accepted it yet. Um, I told him I definitely want to get more MRI tests mm -hmm. and CT, mm -hmm. CT tests to kind of see what I've been doing so far holistically and naturally and organically mm -hmm. to see how that has helped me so far in the past since I was re-diagnosed in March. So um, before I do anything or make any decisions, um, what, is, what does my tumor look like today? Um, I think you know. I think when you when you happy and good diet and good sleep, uh, your body will will have a lot of immune the, the immune system will fight for the tumor. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's how I feel. Yes, that's how I feel every day when I wake up. I feel I I put nothing but good things in my mm -hmm. body. Yes, everything I put in is good things for my body. So. Um, and everything is organic. Mm -hmm. Any kind of meat that I eat is organic. Um, I try to stick to more fish and greens and a lot of berries, um, you know, which have a lot of antioxidants and stuff like that. Yes. Um, and plus with your advice too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's helped me out a lot. Um, but yeah, so now I'm in this, I'm in this, I'm in this state right now and um, this is the first time you're bringing it to you because I was just at the doctor yesterday afternoon mm -hmm. and this is this is you know kind of my dilemma I have my my dilemma where I was born and raised doctors know best listen to the doctor listen to the doctor and my 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 inner being my inner soul my inner whatever is talking to me mm -hmm. um, is telling me stick to what you're doing stick to your holistic stick to your food stick to your diet and and that's what my soul is telling me mm -hmm. you know um but i go but then like i said you have this western medicine and you go you know, you're raised doctors know best listen to the doctor so i have this uh, yin and yang thing mm -hmm. happening pulling me over here pulling me over there um and it's really hard right now to to make a rational decision on something that is stage four and there is no stage five. This is mm. the this is the end, you know. So it's it's really difficult. Yes, to me, if um, if the patient they can have good digestion and good sleep, that's not the big problem. Your body need that. Yeah. So you have the. I think I get good sleep. Yeah, that's. I do. I get about yes. seven to eight hours of sleep a day. Yeah, yeah, if you have that, it doesn't matter for the tumor. Something doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. You you would treat, you would kill. I will win. You win. <laughs>